Hi, my name is Ian Ravenscroft. I'm an application engineer working at Delcam in the healthcare division. I'm here today to explain to you some of the new features available in Author Model. These new features include the new pad merging options and also the new send to Author Mill button, which gives us a seamless connection between Author Model and Author Mill Pro. If you want to find out any more information about these new features, please feel free to visit the website or the learning zone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new features that have been added into Author Model version 2014. I'm going to hit the Start Order button and Work Offline, and I'll be presented with my patient list. Select the patient I'm creating the custom orthotic insoles for, and click New Order from Design. Load in left foot, right foot scan data. I don't need to do any scan editing, so I'll move straight forward to the scan alignment page where I can enter the, the four critical points for the left foot and the right foot. Heel center, first met point, fifth met point, and the arch apex. Move straight forward to the design option. Um, select the footwear sizing system that I'm going to be using. So in this case, uh, this is a UK men's size nine. And this will create me uh, a pair of custom orthotic insoles um, for these particular feet. Okay, so the, the first new feature I'll show you is we now have the ability to add a heel cup thickness value. Okay, so I'm going to select on the left foot heel cup thickness of 2 millimeters and say OK. Now if I undraw the foot scan data and zoom in, you can see now the left orthotic has this flat region which is 2 millimeters wide, but the right orthotic uh, doesn't have that because we haven't applied it to that side yet. Okay, now I can mirror left to right, which means we now get exactly the same on the right, like so. Okay, so this um, increases the thickness in this particular region of the orthotic, uh, makes it um, more manufacturable. So that's the new um, heel thickness option. Now if I move down to the corrections section of the interface, and I'll set up a correction for the left foot. So I'll say I want a four foot post angle of three degrees to the medial side. And I'm going to say I want a rear foot post uh, to the lateral side of two degrees. OK, so my left orthotic is now set correctly. Now if I want exactly the same parameters on the right hand side, we can use these mirroring options. So we can see the values for the right side. If I click the button, which will send the values across to the right hand side, all those values are sent across and we effectively mirror the corrections from one side to the other. Moving down uh, the options I have here, we have a completely new section that have been, that's been added to the design page, which is the, the notes section of uh, the interface. And this allows me to enter um, any text at all that I want to be recorded with this particular order. Okay, so in this case, I could specify that I actually want this to be um, blue EVA. Um, and we can also change the service level. So let's say this standard service, and we want this delivered directly to the clinic. Okay, so we can have some text which is already preloaded in the notes field. That's completely configurable, and you can add as many additional notes as you want, and all that information is stored in the order. So as I hit the final button of the six-step process, the orders button, all that information, the CAD, the foot scan data, the notes, all the design information is stored in a single order, um, which is added to our orders list. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, some of the new features that have been added into Author Model 2014. So, I've actually got Author Model and Author Mill Pro running. So you can see here I've got Author Mill Pro 2014 uh, running and it's in background batch config mode, meaning it's sit, sat there looking for polypropylene and EVA designs ready to machine. So uh, I'm going to hit the track orders button and I'm going to um, select um, an order for a patient that has already been created. So this is the patient. I'm going to come to his orders and you can see here this particular order, if I open it up, I've got a pair of custom orthotic insoles created for this uh, patient. So I'm going to come to the orders page and the new feature on the orders page is that we can now hit uh, this send to author mill button. 
So if I hit send to ortho mill, um, one thing happens. First of all, there's a slight pause while the sending occurs. Uh, secondly, the status changes to manufacture. Now, if I flip straight back over to Author Mill Pro, you can see now that Author Mill has already found those um, orthotics. You can see that the batch config has stopped on EVA because it's recognised that the material code linked to that particular order that we've just sent across is EVA. So Author Mill has loaded the EVA block, it's loaded those orthotics we've just sent over into the block, it's running the EVA uh, manufacturing template. Um, it will then post-process the files, which it's doing now, ready for manufacturing. And it will also, uh, in this case, create a PDF document to accompany the tape files to the shop floor. So there's the printing of the PDF document, which is finished. The post-processing has also finished. So you can see there that we've now got the completed jobs list, uh, which has got the orthotics that we've just sent over um, from author model. Okay, so a new uh, completely seamless interaction between author mill and author model, and it's all controlled um, from the send to author mill button, which has been added into author model 2014.